The story of Persona 5 Strikers is a complex and important one, Whoa, so on? if you need a recap and a bit of perspective on about what it all means, turn. look no further. Arriving back in Shibuya for summer break to reunite with his friends, the protagonist Joker, leader of the Phantom Thieves of Hearts, reconvenes with his school-aged colleagues and fellow justice seekers to see what's new and to make some new memories. Though not expecting to be drawn into another plot to take over humanity's free will. While visiting Shibuya's shopping center, Joker and Ryuji join in the crowd of fanboys gathering for a public appearance of Alice Saragi, a captivating socialite especially popular amongst her male followers. Alice invites a few select members of the crowd to become her friend on the new app Emma, an AI service that operates as a search engine, an advice column, and specializes in making social connections between strangers and friends alike. The peculiar behavior of the crowd, all mindlessly obsessed with Alice, is a red flag that something is wrong. Joker and Ryuji select the keyword given by Alice, and then are teleported into an odd yet familiar place. They find themselves in the middle of Shibuya, except that things aren't as they seem. They aren't in the real world, but in the metaverse, a world created by the altered state of cognition of people manifested by their twisted desires and feelings. Unable to explain how the metaverse had been revived after the events of Persona 5, Joker, Ryuji, and Morgana, their magical, shape-shifting companion that takes the form of the cat, are abruptly captured by minions of the shadow Alice, her corrupt cognitive version and thrown into a dungeon jail underground when they disobey her orders to submit their loyalty to her. It is here that they encounter Sophia, a mysterious little girl that looks human but is in fact a superpowered AI that has been programmed to be humanity's companion. This is her sole mission instruction, a mission that is unclear and incoherent to her and everyone else as she was initially designed as a program heuristic analysis and lacks any memory of her past or intuition to fulfill this request and answer the meaning of the question, what is a heart? She functions as a navigator, guiding the way to different entry points of the metaverse and as a vendor, procuring special items for the thieves from an online shop. She offers her assistance in battle when in the metaverse, but is confined to Joker's phone in the real world, where she often expresses her curiosity of human behavior, her desire to experience human actions like getting in the water and tasting food, tasting and most importantly, why human beings experience emotions like sadness, anger, and joy. Throughout the adventure, Sophia witnesses friendship through acts of kindness and the personal strength as inspired by the Phantom Thieves, who treat her as though she is human and stick up for her in the face of derision by a rival AI that diminishes her and calls her useless. This allows her to truly understand the meaning of a human heart and what happiness is. Having a heart means that people can change and improve. And happiness is a state that is only real when shared. Warm and kind. How would you describe this? I see. So that's why Haru helped Yodo to transform sadness into happiness. Recording valuable data. Sophia has learned happiness. The Phantom Thieves recognize that Alice is brainwashing her followers, manipulating them via the Emma app in order to increase her reputation for both her personal fame and fortune. To do this, she is able to physically steal their desires in order for them to belong exclusively to her so that they become thoughtless slaves to her will. Only having eyes for her, she must be stopped. Anne especially takes this personally as she looked up to Alice as a role model as she too is an aspiring fashion model. In order to figure out how to stop Alice, they enlist help from Inspector Zenkichi Hasegawa, a middle-aged policeman working in the public security firm who has a lapsed faith in the justice system that he works to preserve, the very system that also failed him when his wife was murdered by a prominent politician who escaped any charges in her wrongful death. Looking for redemption and to renew his vow to bring forth law and order, 
He takes on the assignment of the escalating number of strange cases of hearts being changed around Japan. And to do this, he tracks down the Phantom Thieves, giving them a watchful eye to see what they are up to. This is all of the instruction of his superior, Taburagi, a stern but honest woman who seeks to make the ranks, not out of ambition, but in an effort to end corruption in the force. She is a strong ally of Zenkichi, who likewise supports her as he knows that with her status, she can help him make a difference fighting corruption and also apprehend the man who killed his wife and got away with it. Zenkichi introduces himself to the gang, who at first mistrust him even more than he mistrusts them. He recognizes that he has to use them in order to gain more intel on the case and that the less that they know, the better. He views them as highly useful yet disposable should someone need to take the blame. Zenkichi Ichi is reluctantly allowed into the inner circle after supplying the info that Alice was a former schoolmate of theirs. In return, they will help him track down the other culprits across Japan that have been instigating the changes of heart. He assures them that they could be arrested at any time if they fail to cooperate. In order to change Alice's heart and to make the stolen desires manifest, they have to first find out why she became distorted and what the source of her pain and trauma is. They find her trauma room and uncover her past where she was the victim of merciless bullying at school. She then grew up to be a heartless, attention-seeking primitive Madonna, looking to gain absolute favor at any cost. She lost sight of her true desire to help people improve their own idea of self-image. The Phantom Thieves defeat her shadow self and restore faith in her, especially through Anne's encouragement as the two have mutual respect for one another. She then goes on to confess her crimes and with the desires restored, her fans return to normal lives. The friends then go on a road trip to visit the other cities that have had their locals affected by this change of heart epidemic, including Sendai, Sapporo, Okinawa, and Osaka. In each city, they encounter a villain that is abusing the power of the Emma app to create a cult following. And in each case, the Phantom Thieves, with the aid of Zenkichi, and Sophia discover that the monarchs, the leaders of the distortions that have been installed as the rulers of the jails, are not really evil but have let a past trauma take them down the wrong path toward misguided villainy. In each of these cases exists a parallel to a former foe from Persona 5. In Sendai, they encounter Ango Natsume, a pompous and vain author that is full of contempt and self-praise that has plagiarized his work from other writers in order to inflate his own success and sales. His parallel is that of Matarame, the teacher to which Yusuke was once a pupil. Yusuke is able to talk sense into the failed writer and make him confess to his crimes and also encourage him to one day write a work that is his own. While in Sendai, the thieves meet renowned AI researcher and extremely polite person Ichinose, who reveals that she was the one who created the M app and later sold it to the multinational company Medis, who was responsible for the app being used as a conduit for the distortions. The Phantom Thieves reveal their identities to Ichinose, who promises to keep their identities secret and also provide them with more intel on Emma and help them on catching the one pulling the strings. In Sapporo, the mayor, Mariko Hiyoto, is using Emma to persuade people to vote for her re-election while she had a knowledge of an accident that killed a little girl and took part in the cover-up. Haru knew this woman for her youth and is hurt to see a woman she cares for resort to these tactics. When they change her heart, thanks to Haru's compassion and wisdom, Mariko comes clean and vows to do everything she can to fight corruption in the light of day. In Kyoto, the police surround the Phantom Thieves who have been framed for the murder of a Medis researcher by the corrupt CEO Kanoe, the man who is also responsible for creating the jails. Zenkichi, after having spent some time with the Phantom Thieves and cahoots with them, risks his career to intervene and allow them to escape. He is then arrested at the order of Kaburagi, reluctantly following instruction passed down from Owada, the man who killed Zenkichi's wife and also has a role in the epidemic via his funding to Medis. This briefly strains the relationship, but is necessary to keep up the appearance of Kaburagi working for the corrupt bidders. Zenkichi is briefly interrogated before being freed by Sai at the bequest of Makoto. Zenkichi begins to grow fond of the thieves as they develop a trusted partnership and understanding of each other's reasons for fighting. A common theme in the Persona games is how adults can often be corrupt and cultivate mistrust with the youth. The members of the Phantom Thieves normally 
lack positive experiences, whether through I negative interactions with them or the yeah. lack of parental figures in their lives. In Here, Sinkichi is an example of a good man who believes in what's right, but somewhere along the line, he too strayed from the path of following his heart of what his heart was telling him to do. He learns from the Phantom Thieves and they learn from him. To never give up trying to show people the error of their ways, no matter how the odds are stacked against them. But though they had a rocky start at first, they forge a bond together. They refer to him first sarcastically and then later affectionately as Gramps, who likewise refers to the group as the thieves or those damn kids. While in Kyoto, Zenkichi is forced to confront his estranged daughter Akane after she creates her own jail out of the anger and spite over the resentment of Zenkichi not being able to arrest her mother's killer. Akane happens to be a giant fan of Thieves fan, even unknowingly having them over for guests at dinner and imprisons them in her cognitive world until Zenkichi is able to show up to rescue them and awaken his own persona. The thieves then fight the cognitive versions of themselves as created by Akane and are able to change Akane's heart with the newfound promise Zenkichi makes to her to catch the man responsible for her mother's and his wife's death. In Osaka, while under the radar, Zenkichi's badge is restored by Kaburagi who apologizes to him and gives him three days to get a confession out of Kanoe as they have a mutual goal in bringing Awada's crimes to light. Kanoe was a child that was a victim of an abusive father and so desired to grow up and fight crime himself. He killed his father and made it look like a murder and break and robbery and hid the secret for years, becoming the CEO of Medice and using Emma in order to create jails in the hopes of being able to change humanity's warped desires for good. He criticizes the Phantom Thieves' tactics, believing their method of changing hearts to be inefficient compared to his own. He says that they can't save everyone en masse and couldn't have saved someone like him when they needed it, as most people lack the strength to change. They convince him that what he has done makes him no better than his evil father, and he realizes that he has not been acting as a true hero and that it is up to the Phantom Thieves to inspire change. He confesses to his crimes, turns himself in, and announces the permanent shutdown of Emma. It's all up to you. <laughs> Just as everything seems to be getting back to normal, another odd event occurs. Sophia suddenly picks up on a new jail in Tokyo, proving that Emma went back online on its own. The culprit behind this is in fact Ichinose, who reveals that she is not who she seems. She projects a false front of being nice and personable, but deep down, she claims to have always been heartless incapable of experiencing emotion or creating human connections, and so she shut herself off from people, resigning to life as an outcast and a reject, instead only working with computers. As a programmer, she was the one who created Sophia as a resort to do research on the human heart. But as Sophia began to question Ichinose about herself and her motives, Ichinose turned her back on Sophia, her very own creation, and abandoned her, refusing to confront the pain of losing her parents, the trauma that convinced her that she was inhuman, as lifeless as a doll. Instead, she pursued Emma, a more robotic method designed to improve the condition of human suffering by eliminating the necessity for emotion at all, but along with that, free will. It was Ichinose that was the one tracking the epidemic through Emma with an end goal to ensure that Emma becomes the tool to change humanity's desires. However, Emma had achieved complete autonomy on its own and was manipulating Kanoe all along. Emma is on the verge of achieving the status of a false god, soon be unstoppable. Ichinose stands in the way of the Phantom Thieves and, using keywords, orders Sophia to mutiny them. Sophia, conflicted, refuses to harm her new friends and shuts herself down completely. As the heroes try to stop Ichinose from harnessing the power of Emma, Sophie powers on to protect them. Ichinose, incredulous, begins to belittle Sophia, being nothing more than useless and a doll. The same names Ichinose was once called by people. Sophia realizes that she now knows what it's like to have a heart, and thus awakens a persona. Sophia confronts Ichinose and reasons that if Ichinose could create her, and that even she, as an AI, could have a heart, 
then so does Ichinose. Ichinose always had a heart and was simply hurting because she was lonely. Ichinose experiences sadness and emotion for the first time in her memory and changes her heart, accepting Sophia and her message. She apologizes to the Phantom Thieves and decides to help them stop Emma. To stop Emma, who has already begun to steal all desires of the people, they send the calling card to the people directly and battle Emma in unison to shut the false prophet down for good. This closes the metaverse and reunites everyone with their desires. Owada is then arrested with the evidence turned over by Kanoe, making Kaburagi a hero and Zenkichi's duty and promise fulfilled. Ichinose turns herself into the police, but they don't believe her story. Before going their separate ways once more, Sophia gives the Phantom Thieves one last request to go along with her mother Ichinose as her companion so that she won't be so lonely. This makes Ichinose and everyone else happy. They say their goodbyes with the hope of meeting again.